I hope everyone is doing fine. Let's go ahead and talk about Python shallow copy. Deep copy L, I have already typed that. R is, let's define a range. Hmm, let's define a list of range. Range zero to nine, yeah. And then uh, let me print that out too. Then uh, let me go ahead and create another variable. RC equals star, RC is this. So R and RC are same, but let's do check this ID of R, ID of RC, both are same. So these are just two variable names for the same object. So ID of both the objects is same which means both R and RC are pointing to the same object in memory. This is what I meant. If I do RC dot append 99 RC and R. So I altered RC and the R got altered. If I do R dot pop R, RC. I altered the original, original R and RC got altered. So, when we edit either of them, both of them get changed, right? Then let's enter copy module of Python, NCR, equals well, let's uh, go ahead and copy this dot copy r yeah and i'm going to print out ncr here and this is r as we already know it let me go ahead and try to alter ncr dot append 99 R remains the same, right? So I, I alter NCR. NCR got altered, but R remains the same. Let me alter R. That is the original data. R dot mm, append 88 R NCR. As you can see, altering either of them won't affect the other one. Okay, also we can see that ID of R ID of NCR are different. Yep, they are completely different. Let's also go ahead and uh, look at another interesting part of it. NL1, let me define NL1 and uh, this, a nested list. One comma two. Now let me define NL2, yeah? I will say copy dot copy NL1 and let me print out NL2. As you can see, NL1 is this, NL2 is that. Now, let me go ahead and do NL2 dot append four comma five. <coughs> okay. Forgive my voice. NL2 dot append 4 comma 5 now NL2 is this NL1 is this so what happened nothing I altered NL2 original remains intact however let me show you one interesting fact here if I do NL2 and I select one 
right? So I get two, three, right? So let me, what if I wanna, then if I do one again, then three, yeah. So zero element, first element, in that first element, since it's a nested list, that element also has some elements, that is zero, the element is two, first element is three. So NL211 is three. What if I wanna change that? Let me change that. I will make that nine. Now let me print out NL2. Okay, it became nine. NL1 also got changed. So what happened? So copy dot copy does only the first layer of copy. It won't do deep or recursive copy of all the objects. So that is where you use deep copy. Okay. Let me elaborate on the same thing. Let's me do nl dot append seven comma seven nl1 hmm, nl2 yep. as you can see that the first layer whatever that you do to the first layer that one of uh, that won't get changed or affected but whatever that you do to the second layer gets changed or gets affected now this element is something which i now added but what if i alter something inside it Okay, let me take this and L2, 0, 1, 2, 3. It's the third one. In that one, I want to change the first one. And I want to put, let's say, 6 there. And L2, and L1. Yep, this is an L1. Did I add? Oh, okay, 2. 7, 7, I added NL1, that's okay. For NL2, I did ch change 6 here. And NL2, also 6 got changed. But what if I change on NL1? I was supposed to do it for NL1. Let me do it now, it's okay. NL1, so 0, 1, 2, 3. Go to the third element in that, change the first element, make it it's um, say 66 yeah and nl1 is this nl2 is that because this element was never there in NL, nl2 so that did not get altered so this is what it meant a copy dot copy copies the list but not the nested objects in it this means if we change the original NL1 or newer NL2, it won't affect each other. But if we change the nested objects, then the changes appear on each other. Let's do, let's go up and copy this here. And we will do a deep copy now. Oops, let me do a deep copy. Okay, this is NL2, this is NL1. Now let me do NL1, 1 is what? 3, right? This is item. So I'm going to change that to 33. So NL1 is this, NL2 is still 3. Let me change something in NL2. Let me make this 99 and do NL1, NL2, right? NL1, NL2. So that did not get changed, right? So NL2, uh, I mean, NL1, I changed it to 91. I should have done it for NL2. Okay, let me do for NL2 here. Insert 99, do 33 here. 
Yep. So NL1 is still this, NL2 is that. Yep. So whatever you change now on any layer or how many levels of nested objects you have, let's say this is nested object and inside that you have few more nested objects, you change whatever you want there, it will still not get reflected on the original data from which you copied this from. So, okay, let me rename this. All right, so I think that's all I had for copy and deep copy. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.